Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Uh, keep the support coming. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our second channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. I'm going to be reacting to Islam and Christianity amid Didat and Gary Miller. Gary, Gary Miller. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. that Mr. Muller mentioned it and quoted from the Qur'an that the Qur'an is sent to confirm that which came before it but note, it says also to safeguard those scriptures that came before it. Now if then the Qur'an is there to safe, to confirm and safeguard the Bible or the Christian and Jewish scripture that came before it if the Bible has been changed, it means that the Quran has failed in its duty to safeguard those scriptures. You see, the Holy Quran confirms that Jesus is the Christ. Something worth confirming because the Jews, they insinuated that Jesus Christ, because he had no earthly father, he was the illegitimate child of Mary. So either the Muslim must accept that or accept what the Christian said that his father is God. So the Quran comes to rectify the misconception that the Christian has that because he has no earthly father, his father is God. So it says, Ya Halal Kitab, O people of the book, La Taghlu Fi Deenakum. Do not go to extremes in your religion. Don't go to extremes, you Jews and Christians. You Jews are going to one extreme and the Christians are going to another extreme. Don't go to extremes. Wala taqulu alallah illal haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. And what the truth is? Inna mal masih, most certainly the Messiah. Isa ibn Maryama, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of God. So it confirms. It rectifies you wherever you made faults, wherever you made your interpolations. Your trinity is a fabrication. It says so. That Jesus is the begotten Son of God. It says so. You see, it rectifies your mistakes and it tells you, as, as, a, as our brother pointed out, that it is a check on what you, the Christians and the Jews are teaching. So this is what this is the book of God. It is confirming what is with you, what is true. If you say that God is one, it confirms. If you say adultery is evil, it confirms. That stealing is bad, it confirms. Taking of life, killing people is bad, it confirms. So whatever is right, it confirms. And then wherever you have made mistakes, it corrects you. And then it replaces with the right answer. Mr. Dilla, I believe that you did not answer my question because my question was this. I'm not asking what you believe, Mr. Dilla. I'm asking But if the Quran is there to safeguard the Bible, then such discrepancies should not be found. See, if I had to say it anyway, I didn't come to say that the Bible. Because there was no such thing as the Bible. See, the first place to think about the Bible is the one that you have. If you have one, if you have one, you see, if I ask you which Bible are you talking about? I want to know which Bible are you talking about? Because there are dozens and dozens of Bibles. Different, different versions. Which one are you talking about? You see, the Roman Catholics, they have what is called the Douay version of the Bible. You know about that, right? And that Bible has 73 books. 73 books. Now, must I accept that one or accept yours? Yours has got 66. You are a Protestant, I take it. 
You are a Protestant, I take it. Please, please. Unless you are a Roman Catholic. Are you a Roman Catholic? I know why. I know why. Because now you see, this is the trick that the Christian plays on you. When you want to know where do you belong, are you fish or fowl? And the man won't tell you. <laughs> see, because as soon as you say, as soon as you say that you belong to a certain denomination, I say your denomination was a partner in this Bible which went on to say that the King James Version has great defects. If you say that you belong to a certain church, I said, look, that church of yours backed this Bible up, which threw out the ascension of Jesus, thrown out, Trinity thrown out, begotten son thrown out. Can you see? So I said, your church was involved. So the easy way out is, I don't own up where I belong. I don't want to say what church I belong to. So it's an easy way out. So you can take any impossible stand and the man can say nothing to you. Uh, please, give somebody else a chance. Next, next, next question. Next, next. And if you want to ask another question, go at the back. That lady over there. You see, the right thing for me to do was, was to ask you for an explanation about the verses that you have quoted, which means now you will go into delivering a lecture. You see, what had Ishmael and Isaac to do with Islam and Christianity that we were discussing tonight? Your celebration, the sacrifice of Yes. Yes. No, no, but now what has that sacrifice to do with Islam and Christianity tonight? Because you about About what? You must tell me now, what did I mock? You see, you're not asking the question. You're creating some new subject now about Ishmael and Isaac. Now, who was, now, who was offered for sacrifice? Was it Ishmael or Isaac? I, I, now, I tell you, according to the Bible, that is not true. Because you read there, Isaac, thy only son. And at no time was Isaac the only son of Abraham. You see, 13 years before Isaac was born, Ishmael was born. And God Almighty accepted him as the son and seed of Abraham. No less than 16 places in, I'm sorry, 12 places in the book of Genesis. God speaks about Ishmael. He said, as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. 12 princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation, because he is thy son. Because, another place, he is thy seed. No less than 12 places. God Almighty accepts Ishmael as the son and seed of Abraham long before Isaac was born. 13 years before Isaac was born. So now, when was Isaac the only son and seed of Abraham? You go and work that out, and next time when I come to Johannesburg, you tell me. This question again is for Mr. Dida. Now, before I actually ask the question, I would just like to say something as I see. Alright, 
then my statement will be part of my question. Okay. Uh, it, is, it is such that both Muslim and Christian believe that God is a just God. Right? One thing is um, Christians have to answer the question what existed before Christianity? You know, that was another religion. And Christianity is like a subdivision of that religion. It's like another part of that religion. Why would someone get offended if, for example, I said, but the Christian was a book taken from the Torah, you know? Why would someone get offended by saying the Quran came to clear up the mistakes of the Bible? I feel like all religions have a connection somehow. They've been inspired in some way by something common, you know. And um, to think to think that we don't have to relate them is... I find it funny that someone would want that. I feel like let's relate them to see where all this is coming from. They should be uh, grassroots. They should be roots to something, you know. If you embrace that thought, I feel like there is more to find out. And I don't think we should expect the, uh, not, not just Christian books, but any holy books to agree with each other anyhow. Different people, different things they believe in. Of course, I'm going to say that's true, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true, this is true. You know, there's always going to be that. I feel like it's something that we should live with. Whether we accept or not, that's just something that exists. How you take everything is up to you. Otherwise, um, I think the answers were okay, but I feel like the volume to the questions, to the people that were asking was quite low. I couldn't even understand it, but that's that was my only limitation. Let me know what you guys think about this. And yeah, just feel free to comment down below. Uh, please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below. I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.